Hey guys and welcome back to the Ugly Duckling House channel. Today I'm making this simple standing elephant puzzle out of some scrap oak and I cut it out on my scroll saw. I'm going to show you how I did it. I started by adding some painter's tape to a 1 by 8 inch piece of scrap. This goes under the spray adhesive and template so that once it's cut out I can peel the template back off easier. I took the taped piece outside, spray it down, and firmly attached the template. You'll see in the next clip that I drew over the leg area with a marker before I began cutting it out on my scroll saw. I did this on purpose so that the puzzle can stand up once fully assembled. The template was originally from a royalty free image resource I found online, but I modified it so that all the legs touch a flat surface so that it can stand. I created a template from that with all the puzzle pieces marked out, and you can download that for free at UglyDucklingHouse.com. This was probably my third or fourth project on a scroll saw, so I consider this a good beginner project. So if you're new to scroll saw work, a few tips. Number one, try to cut in one long continuous cut as much as you can. This creates fewer jagged edges that you'll have to sand out later. It can feel tricky when cutting around sharp corners, so tip number two is to go slow. I use a variable speed scroll saw so that I can slow it down when things get a little too quick for comfort. That was also a good decision in terms of the thickness of this puzzle. Tip number three, let the cutting teeth do the work. These blades are very thin, so never push the wood into the blade or you'll bend or break it. You're essentially feeding the wood into the cut and not forcing it. If that doesn't make sense and you've never used a scroll saw before, don't worry. It will once you give it a shot. With the outline cut, I wanted to make sure that it could stand on a flat surface, but the feet weren't all cut exactly even thanks to both my beginner level scroll saw skills and the fact that I hand drew the feet. So I used my belt sander to sand them all to a single plane. I then drew out each puzzle piece and cut them out on the scroll saw once more. You won't have to do the same if you're using my template though. It will already be drawn for you. Another tip, since you have the template available, you may want to cut through the puzzle pieces first before cutting the outline. I obviously didn't do that because I hadn't drawn the pieces yet. But this will give you a bigger piece to hold on to. A scroll saw works best when you can keep the piece flat, and smaller pieces make holding it steady that much harder. And that can lead to a snapped piece if you're pushing against a thinner spot, like the trunk. That being said, I think scrap wood puzzles are a great project for scroll saw beginners. They have lots of organic shaped loops that don't have to be perfect. Just make sure that for each piece, there's at least one loop that hooks into the next puzzle piece, and then it narrows a little at the bottom of that loop so it can hook together without slipping. With each piece cut, you can then peel off the template. Like I said in the beginning, the tape makes it easier to peel that template back off rather than dealing with bits of torn paper and spray adhesive getting into the wood grain. Then just sand and finish as desired and assemble. And there you have it, a sweet little standing wood puzzle that makes great use of funky shaped scrap. Based on the response I got on the blog and social media, I think I'm going to make a few more templates for other animals based on your suggestions. You can find links to the products I used in the description below and on my blog, and don't forget that you can grab my template at UglyDucklingHouse.com. Thank you for watching, and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already.